Oh right, guys, back again. <laughs> I've just finished watching a uh, a video on YouTube, a short film. Um, it's called well, it's in the title. You know what it's called. It's called Brutal Relax. Brutal Relax. And um, it's it's. It's, it's in Spanish. I think it's in Spanish. Please don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I think it sounds like Spanish. There's uh, English subtitles. Um, this thing's bonkers, mate. It's, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. It's, it's, it's really good, though. Um, it's only... It's only... Well, it's only sort of vaguely Lovecraftian in one sense. Um... That I'll, I'll explain that in a bit, um, but this thing's it's nuts. The basic premise of it is this: there's this there's this guy in this doctor's consultation room, whatever, um, and the doctor's saying to him, like, you know, we, we, we've been seeing you for quite a while now. You're um, you seem to be improving. Um, you're you're calm. Uh, he's saying all this sort of stuff to him, and it shows you a shot of the guy he's talking to, and he's he's a guy with a, like a quite a, a big tash, almost like a well, a pretty big tash. I thought I just had to explain that, uh, and he's he looks a bit nuts. He's just sitting there with this sort of funny look on his face, staring into space, and um, yeah, the doctor sort of seems to be a bit nervous around him. So I'm guessing he's uh, we're supposed to believe he's some sort of he, he's some sort of nutcase. Um, but anyway, the doctor's saying to him, yeah, you, so, you know, you need a vacation. Um, you go somewhere quiet, somewhere peaceful, somewhere where you're not going to get agitated by, you know, stressful situations or whatever. And, um, and he says to him, like, you know, go away, go to a beach, take some photos, do what normal people do. And, uh, and then we take, we, we cut to this, this beach and um, this sort of like reggae music's playing. It's pretty funky, and it shows all the people on the beach having a bit of fun. It, there's a there's a there's a weird sort of undertone to all of it. Uh, you'll know what I mean when you watch it. There's a weird there's a weirdness to all of this everyday stuff that you're seeing. It's not there's something about it. It's a bit off putting. Like maybe it's the the landscape of the beach. Like the the beach is all sort of red sand, and it looks almost in some sense sort of like alien alien like an alien sort of but landscape i don't know it's weird it's weird you might you'll know what i mean but there's there's off-putting things in everything you see and um so it shows you all these people on the beach having a bit of a cool time and then this this fellow they make this guy in the story he sort of it comes across uh, from behind some rocks and he lumbers onto the beach looking <sighs> looking weird and um yeah he, he comes across and he it shows you this shot of this little corner of the beach where there's like a bin or a, a garbage a trash can or whatever you know you might say in america I don't know if you know what a bin is um yeah and it's just below it there's just like this sort of puddle of mud with all sorts of horrible crap in it and uh he comes lumber lumbering across the beach puts down his uh, suitcase next to this mud patch and just plonks himself in it. And he just starts, like, people are looking at him and he looks he looks chuffed with himself. He looks really happy and he starts slavering this mud. And I mean, there's something really off-putting about that, watching him cover this, this crap all over him. And he covers himself in it and then he rubs it in his face and there's all these like bits of whatever hanging from his face. It might be seaweed, it might be... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's not very pleasant. <laughs> and um, then it, we cut back to all the people having a good time on the beach. And then suddenly it shows you out to sea and there's these, suddenly this head pops about the sea and there's these, this is probably, this is the sort of Lovecraftian bit. To be honest, I'm not covering this because of this. I'm just covering this because it's so entertaining. Um, I tell you what, it's very gory as well some very shocking moments in it 
But um, yeah, this this head pops out of the sea, and then suddenly more heads pop out of the sea, uh, and they're these like you know, well, sea dwelling humanoid creatures, um, and they they come onto the land, and suddenly the, the people on the beach spot them. And they look sort of terrified. And suddenly these creatures just start attacking everyone. Like nuts. It is absolutely crazy. And like they just start. Like there's one guy. They pick him up. They have one of them. They pick up an arm and a leg each. And they just rip this fella. They rip him in pieces. And he's like. He's just skeleton falls out. And then there's a like. There's a guy with a um, a frisbee. And they throw the frisbee at his head and it just sort of lodges in his head, like cuts his head in, like it, it just it lands in his head. Do you know what I mean? Like it's bladed. And there's this one fella who's uh, been buried up to his neck on the beach. And um, yeah, and one of these creatures just takes like a run up, kicks this, kicks this guy's head and it flies off, flies off like a football. And when it lands, you just see its face, his face all caved in and that. It's really gory like really gory but you see like i said you see people's people's bodies being ripped apart people's arms and legs being torn off people's necks being you know they're biting people's necks out and and um there's one bit where they pull this guy's they pull this guy's like um his shoulders and his chest apart and then just by the skull pull out his whole like internal like skeleton pull it out of the skin it's horrible man it's this this real gory stuff anyway you, you you get the idea of what i'm saying and um all the time this is going on there's this this main guy in the story he's, he's sitting there in this mud pool covered in covered in mud with this gormless look on his face <laughs> and he's got a, a big pair of headphones on listening to well get listen to music i think he's listening to this reggae music actually and um, he's just sitting there and he sort of looks over at all this stuff going on. And um, you th I'm thinking, sitting there thinking, is he going to do something at all or what's, what's going on? Because <laughs> this is obviously a stressful situation, isn't it? And um, yeah, he's, uh, there's this one guy that's crawling up to him and I'm going, help me, help me, please. And this creature comes and grabs him away and just like rips his throat out. This woman has like her belly ripped open, and um, yeah, all this is going on. He 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 sort of turns and looks at it with this gormless look on his face, like I said, and uh, he, he's not he doesn't seem perturbed about it. He don't he's not bothered, and uh, and then suddenly the music stops, and he's he, well he's got a Walkman. If anyone knows where that is, I do. <laughs> um, his Walkman batteries run out. And this tense music kicks in and he's furious that his batteries have run out. And uh, he sits there and gets like wound up and wound up and he gets mad. And it's just funny because all this stuff's going on next to him and it don't bother him. And as soon as his, ba his music, his batteries run out and his music turns off, that's when he loses the plot. And he just gets up and he goes, he, he, he goes nuts on these creatures, man. He puts his hand through, he just smacks the shit out of them. <laughs> He absolutely lays a smackdown on these flipping creatures, man. He, he grabs one of the umbrellas and shoves one of the, it, it through his one of the, it down in one of these creatures down its gob. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a bit sick. This bit, um, I didn't really like this bit. But he picks up, he picks up this dead child. It's, it's not pleasant. It's really not. I think I've said before, I don't like stuff like that. But he picks up this dead kid. And he just starts waving it around his head and he runs towards these creatures and just like uses it like a weapon. Uses this dead kid as a weapon, man. And just, just, just absolutely obliterates these creatures. Sort of flinging this kid around by its leg. <laughs> it's just nuts as it sounds. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. I mean, there's only so long I can, I can, I'm not gonna explain every little thing in here, but you get the picture. It's just, it's just, it's just such a, I'm lost for words. I don't know what to say about it. It's good. Anyway, basically, he kills all these creatures. 
And then he walks over to the one, I think it's the one survivor, there's this girl sitting down on a towel on the, uh, on the beach. And he walks over to her and she's like, she's obviously really grateful. But she, I don't know if she thinks that the fella wants to kiss her, but she closes her eyes and puckers up, expecting a kiss. And when she opens her eyes, this, this fella's just standing there with his gormous look again, holding out a camera. He obviously wants some snaps. He wants he wants her to take some photos of him. <laughs> uh, so she takes photos of him and then it, it ends. And the end credits come up and it's just lots of different snaps of him. And they're all photos of him sort of holding up the dead body of these creatures. <laughs> There's loads of different snaps. It's hilarious. It really is hilarious. And then like the very last shot you see is this photo of... Uh, him sort of running into the sea, carrying the suitcase with all limbs and body parts of these creatures falling out of it. And in the sea is this huge sort of creature with tentacles and that. <laughs> it's just a photo. And that's just the last shot you get of the film. But this is it's very, it's, you've got to watch it. It's It's got to be seen to be believed. Yeah, it's, it's, I can recommend it. It's really good. It's really good. Um, yeah, and there's not much more I can say about it. Just go and check it out on uh, YouTube. Brutal Relax. I think you'll be entertained. In fact, I know you'll be entertained. If you're not, then... I don't know. Something wrong with you. You don't like horror. Or comedy. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Before I bore you all. Uh, thank you for listening. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio for now.